We're here at Aero 2018 in Friedrichshafen, Germany at the Global Show for Aviation, one of my favorite shows in the circuit. We want to thank our sponsors from the USA, Bristol Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine for helping us make these videos possible. Today we're looking at an aircraft that I've been following for some time now, actually for many years, but it was then known as Jet Fox 97. Yeah. And now we have the new version of this is the FX1 from Innov Aviation. We're sitting here speaking with Karen, Not the designer well. Alfredo, and his chief engineer, Paolo. Welcome right. all of you to Aero and Hello, I hope you're Dan. having a wonderful show. Yeah, up to now it was really a great show and yeah, it was a fantastic uh, response from the people here, lots of pilots, really interested people and it was fantastic over our expectations. Excellent, we always yeah. like to hear that. Yeah. It's such an attractive aircraft. It looks similar to the Jet Fox 97 of course. It is. I know it's based on this, but now it's made a great change. So. If you will, describe the construction of what we're seeing behind all of us. So, behind us we see an aircraft, we have a chrome moly steel frame for the cabin, we have a main boom of an aluminium tube, and that's all wrapped in carbon fiber. We have aluminium wings with wing tanks, and the tail section is also in aluminium. Okay, the camera probably cannot see here, but as I look up underneath yeah. the wing, I see a riveted structure. Yeah, so, it is. this is a conventional aluminum hard yeah. surface wing. It is. Okay. But the carbon fiber, which looks so pretty in this case, is just a shell. It's not uh, the actual yeah. structure of the airplane. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Now, this is a side-by-side -side seated airplane. And I remember from the jet box, it was a little challenging to enter. And it looks like you've solved that problem with these big doors. Absolutely. We solved it so it's really easy to get in and out. And let's say the aircraft was growing around our bus. <laughs> So he, he decided that he designed the aircraft for himself because he has had also these problems to get in and out, and he made it more easy. And now here we are. I think I think he looks a little like an American who enjoys yeah. his hamburgers. <laughs> in Only you in have a, something better no, in Italy. In I'm his sure. case, it's pasta. <laughs> pasta, yes. Okay. Which and engine are you using in this aircraft? So this right now has the 912S 100 Hz Rotax, but in future we will mount also the 912IS. Oh, okay, so you so, use the yeah. fuel injected yeah. version as well. Then. Yeah. Will you have a choice? Will buyers right. have a yeah, choice absolutely. of one or the other? Yeah. Okay, That's very right, good. Then. And you're using the e-props on the front, a three-blade yeah. e-prop? So we tried several times of props, uh, several types of prop, and also several di diameters, but with this one now we are really happy. And uh, tell me a little bit about the performance of the aircraft with the conventional 912 ULS carbureted engine. I handle over to Paolo because he has all these things in mind. Take off distance is 100 meters. 100 meters, uh, 100 okay, about 300 feet. For, yeah. for landing, uh, we it's 150 okay. 50 meters. Uh, our cruise speed uh, is uh, 200 uh, kilometers per hour. Okay. Okay. And um, south speed clean is around 81 kilometers, while full flap is 65 kilometers per hour. Okay, I'll okay. translate a little bit of those. 200 kilometers per hour is about 125 okay, miles an hour. Yes. 80 kilometers is about 50 miles per of hour. Of course, of course. And uh, yes. some of us Americans do have a bit of yes. knowledge yes. about metrics, yes, so know. it's okay. We we're happy to do both. Many of our viewers are outside of the United States, okay. so we welcome metric okay. as well. Thank you. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about flight controls in the airplane. Okay. We have. Okay, we have. Um, um, we can have a um, normal uh, stick control on the central, but on this version we prefer a side stick with the control and a central throttle. And our side stick is very uh, easy to use, is uh, uh, comfortable, and when you um, fly with this, um, with this uh, version, and you can be really, really relaxed and control, enjoy the flight. Would you describe the handling as docile or responsive? Smooth. It's responsive and smooth. Okay. And it's full dual control? Yes, of course. Uh, both seats? Yes, Okay, of so you can fly with an instructor, for example, yes. and that person yes. can teach yes. the other person? Yes, of course. Okay, excellent. How much fuel is carried in the aircraft? Uh, with uh, two tanks on wings, are uh, 90 liters. 90 liters, 90 okay. Liters. So of that's, course you uh, have the comparison. It's about 20 gallons or okay. so. Mm. So I want to go back to the joystick for a second. Okay. On this particular example that we see here, uh, yes. I think the camera can see pretty easily as this gentleman moves the stick a little bit for us. Thank you to that gentleman. <laughs> uh, you can see that it has side sticks, side or what stick. I would actually call a side yoke. 
Sudden. Because it, okay. it pivots this way okay. and in and, and out. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay, so that's correct. what I would call that's a correct. side yoke. Or you can have a center stick. Is that correct? Yes, we can have a central stick. So it would be one in the center then, and if you were uh, if you were the pilot in command, you would fly with your yes, right hand. With if you're in the other seat, you fly course. with your left hand. Okay, of course. With with center stick, we can have two throttles. Okay, so. So you can either have the side sticks yes. or side yokes yes. and a central throttle, yes. throttle, or you can have a center stick and side throttles. That's okay. correct. That's nice versatility. This is just the option of the buyer, is it? Of course. Whatever they prefer. Okay, yes. excellent. Uh, the seats look very comfortable in the aircraft. Um, are, how do they feel for a long flight? Uh, for me, it's really comfortable. Uh, uh, seats are adjustable, are removable, and uh, for um, for a long uh, for a long flight, I think it's uh, more comfortable than an hour. So the, the the seats do adjust yes. fore and aft, and also removable. Is yeah. there baggage area behind the yeah. seats? Yes. Another uh, great point of this is that um, our cover. Uh, our cover of uh, carbon fiber can be removed in uh, an hour oh, to really? check all the structure. Oh, is that right? You can remove all of this structure? All this structure. In one hour? Yes. Okay, well that would be very nice for inspecting your aircraft before yeah, annual inspection or something like that. Okay. Okay, and the amount of fuel on board is, uh, as I said, approximately 20 gallons. Uh, this will produce what length of flight? How long can you fly? Uh, we... 5.5 hours or 900 of kilometers and we also have the possibility to improve and uh, make our tanks bigger. Ah, okay, so it, perhaps in the future you may offer yes. larger fuel tanks. Okay, so now let's talk a few speeds of the aircraft. What is its uh, minimum, what is the stalling speed of the aircraft? Uh, you can clean, do it in kilometers, clean, that's fine. Clean, uh, with yeah. a clean configuration, uh, 80, 81, 82 kilometers okay. per hour. And with While flaps full down? Flap, full flap, 65 65, okay. 65 so kilometers, per kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour, yes. Okay, so that's getting very slow now. That's only about uh, 35 knots yes. or something like that, yes. And uh, maximum cruising speed? Uh, sustained cruising speed? Yes, our uh, VNA is 240. 240, okay, that's about 140 miles an hour, something like that. And your typical cruise speed at a normal distance flying? About 200. 200, okay, 200. that was the number you mentioned earlier. Okay, so I also see the tail is also all metal. Yeah. Is that including, the, I see the vertical wings fin, I can and, look here. Uh, and tail are made okay, by aluminum. Okay, so the whole tail plane is metal yes. and the wings are all metal. Yes. And uh, of course, strut braced as well. for interior and for color. Okay, and then inside is uh, the welded structure uh, yeah. around the occupants yes, and so forth. Oh, steerable nose wheel? Okay. Is it steerable? Yes. Completely steerable yes. nose wheel? Okay. By the foot pedals? Yes. Excuse me. And the main landing gear, uh, the, the structure of the main landing gear? Uh, is it fiberglass? Yeah, fiberglass. Fiberglass. fiberglass okay. While uh, between the two landing gear, on the main landing gear, there is a square two by aluminum. Ah, okay. 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 Where where the landing gear plugs yeah, into the course, fuselage, I see, okay. So when I asked Apollo about removing the seats, I wondered about getting at some of the luggage area, but as I look yeah. over Alfredo's shoulder here, yeah. I see a luggage door. Yeah, so Apollo will open it up, so okay, we have it both good. on the left and right side. We have, yeah, we, we can't go in, so maybe Dave can go around. We'll have big, a look later, yeah, but, uh, big but you can have, how much capacity do you have inside there? So it's 15 kilos weight, can go both. On each side? On each side, okay. yeah. All right, and so if you circle a little in, a normal board case will fit. Okay, very good. So something you, you would have, carry on board yeah, an airliner or A luggage or whatnot. compartment also behind your head, behind the seats, you can also fit something in there. Okay. And you have door pockets also for little stuff, so... Yeah. Okay, lots of things you can carry and play with. Mm -hmm. you. Now, you say this is the prototype aircraft yeah. here, is that okay. right, Karen? Yeah. And uh, you were going to make some changes to the seats you told me about? Yeah, so not the, to the seats. The seat is coming three centimeters more down. Okay. So um, we have seven centimeters more for the pedals, so more leg room also in the okay, front. Okay, so it'll accommodate an even taller person. Yeah. All right, let's uh, now move to the delivery of the airplane. First of all, how this is the, this is the only one flying today? 
This is the only one flying, but okay. we already have three from the serial production running. We build them right now down in Italy. Okay. And the first one will go to our dealer in, in the US. It's okay. going to Dion Lombard. And yeah, we are planning to be there with the aircraft in Oshkosh. Okay, very good. We'll look you for you there. It there. And, uh, hopefully and we'll see it flying there yeah, as well, I hope. Yeah, so we, we hope so. And yeah, the next one is going to our dealer in Israel. Already ordered. Also this one is in production. But the former model from the Jet Fox in this little country, Israel, 25 are flying from ah, the jet right. fox. Yes, okay, yes, so, so there were a number of jet boxes, uh, which is, this is almost the same airplane, yeah. uh, just with a different exterior yes. finish and so forth. Yeah, yeah, and also wing is different because the former uh, yes. wing was with fabric and it all was this. It was Yeah, uh, absolutely, yeah. Before. Now it's all metal, so yeah, okay. So, so fourth generation, so yeah, we make advantages. Sure, of course, and now you're going to deliver this aircraft as a ready-to-fly aircraft? Yeah. Uh, will it be available as a kit as well? Not planned yet. Okay, no plans for a kit at this time. So we applied for SLSA with the FAA and right now during these days here in Germany the 600 kilos are coming so the next step will be the LTF 600 kilos because this is opening up the European market. Okay, and then you'll have the similar product in yeah, both the European yeah, community yeah, and in the United States and other countries like yeah. Australia, Colombia and many what, more whatever, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, I think we've uh, asked you many of the questions that we want. Let's go ahead and get a web address for people that yeah. found more questions that we forgot to ask. <laughs> I can't okay. imagine there's too many more, but people always have more. Where will we go on the web to find so you, Karen? So we go on www.innovaviation.com. Okay, very good. And you can find more about this aircraft and all kinds of aircraft in the affordable aviation space on bydanjohnson.com. We want to again thank our sponsors, Bristol Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine, for allowing me to speak to Karen, Alfredo, and Paulo here at Aero 2018. Okay, thank you, Dan.